So today in rounds, we talked about uh, lumbar spinal stenosis. So yeah. how would you describe that problem to a patient? The, the space around the nerves in your spine is, mm -hmm. is just too narrow. There's normally lots of space. The nerves are happy. They're floating in there. And over time, um, you can develop changes in the spine that then make that space too small. And so now they're all crammed together and there's just not enough of the blood supply getting to those nerves and you start to feel it in your back and legs, especially when you're walking and standing. So a patient has lumbar spinal stenosis, what would be the typical symptoms that they would come in with? Um, I joke about this thing called the Costco func functional walking index, which is not a thing, but, <laughs> but how far can you walk in a Costco before you feel like you need to sit down? Or you feel like, like you need to lean on the cart? Yeah. Like can you make it from the parking lot? Can you right. make it over to TVs or whatever that is? And so mm -hmm. um, it really, the symptoms are just, as I start to walk more, I start to feel more fatigued than I would previously and I'm starting to look for places to rest or sit down. Okay, so I'm a patient. I've just been told I have lumbar spinal stenosis. What is that? What, what are the options for treatment? I, I lump them into those type of conservative, being physical therapy, um, uh, change in, in activity levels, then going on to more uh, potentially invasive things, things like epidural steroid injections, which can improve symptoms, but it doesn't fix any of the problems, but mm -hmm. they can provide relief, you can walk further, you can stand longer, mm -hmm. and then going to kind of more invasive options after that.